Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vigito to Studio and today I'm going to show with you a new title that we just added to a free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download the updated version of the starter pack with the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. You will get this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the free starter pack, the RFX, and the font. If you haven't installed the pack before, please make sure to install all the font by selecting all of them and double click on them to start the installation process. If you don't have the font installed, the pack will not work. But if you've already installed the pack in the past and that's just an update, you don't have any need for reinstalling the font. You can then just go directly to the DRFX file and then double click on it to start the installation. If you haven't the pack installed, it will just ask you to install, just click that. Otherwise, it will show overwrite, just click overwrite. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can find the new title by going over to Effect, Title, Video Editor Studio, then scrolling down to free starter pack and then here you will find it in the category infographic. The new title is called Icon Fill, it's this one right there. So let's just take it and drag it in our timeline. This is a title to help you display data with a visualizer and a counter. So right now the placeholder for the icon is a hurt, but you can just change that to any icon you'd like. You can just simply use here the loader and upload any PNG or JPEG file. You can find a whole lot of free PNG icons on PNG repo. So right now, for example, we're going to download this car to use it. To load it, nothing more simple than selecting Bros and then just bringing that file in. And as you can see, we replaced the herd with that car. One cool thing with this title is that the filling of the icon and the number are linked together, meaning that whenever you are adjusting here the scale and it's changing the number, it's changing the filling also of the icon. One quick caveat though is that you need to make some adjustment for it to fit perfectly your icon. So right now, maybe you noticed before, the icon of the earth was taking the entire frame. It's for a reason. It's because right now, as you can see, if I drag that below 20, uh, there is no fill at all happening. It's because the fill is starting at the bottom of the screen right there and that the car, there is like a gap between that and the bottom. So what you need to do whenever you've added your icon, you need to go over to icon right here and you need to adjust the size in mask. So here we're just gonna increase the size in mask to the maximum so we have the icon filling up the frame as much as possible. Now as you can see because this icon is wide it's not enough for the car because right now at 9 we have just a bit of the bottom that is filled but not much. So if the value of our icon is on the lower side we could just here for example adjust the position of the icon to bring it as close as possible to the bottom and having the feeling starting up at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc. Once you've done that and you're happy with the way the icon is getting filled, you can then adjust the global size of the icon. So here, for example, we're just gonna reduce the size and we can adjust the position as well by moving it, for example, a bit to the side or up. We can also change the color of the icon and even use gradient. Same goes for the text. So here in the text dropdown, we could switch the font, we can switch the color. So right now we're just gonna select white we're going to adjust the overall size and the position. So here I'm just going to center it a bit more on the logo. We can switch from fill to outline. And also here you have the possibility to adjust the shadow strength. So there is some drop shadow behind. You could adjust that strength right here, the blur, the drop distance, etc. Another cool thing is that you can really put any value you like after the number. So right now it's a percentage, but it could be some dollars. It could be euro, yen, um, kilogram, anything you like, you can add it right after it. The same goes if you need to display a number in the thousands. Right now you're limited from zero to uh, 100, but if you need to display something that is like, for example, 50,000, you could do that right here by uh, writing a dot and then 50,000 and let's say dollars. So you can really enter any value you like. Then you have the usual glow option. One caveat though with the glow is be careful because of the way it's done with the filling. If you increase the glow size too much, uh, it might clip sometimes on the edges depending on your icon. But in that case, it seems to work fairly well and it's not an issue. Then we get the perspective right here. So you can adjust the X, the Y and the Z perspective. And lastly, the usual background with the levels of touch, etc. 
And that's pretty much it. That's everything you need to know about this new title. I hope you will enjoy it. Please let me know in the comment what kind of title you would like to see in the future. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.